let's talk about these charts and what's going on and what we are looking for in this next coming week for Bitcoin and the crypto market. Welcome to Everything Currency and today I want to talk to you guys all about these Bitcoin charts. I want to talk to you about the altcoin charts and the overall crypto markets. The overall markets what we're looking at for the upcoming days and what just happened on these charts because we had a bearish close for this monthly chart right now. So if you're excited about that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you're not subscribed and let's just get right into this Bitcoin price right here. So this is the monthly chart. So the first thing you're going to notice if you've been watching my um, an, uh, analysis videos, I added this green line right here. This is 44,073. We need to get back above that level drastically or else things are just going to still keep looking bad for Bitcoin. This is actually a bear flag right here right now it's not looking good we bearishly retested this weekly we needed to close this week above this level so right now we need to get above that for sure this green line is kind of our lifeline if not i don't think we're going to be able to hold this level right here which is at um 35,500 um this month i just can't see that happening if we don't get it back above this level so we need to get back above that level for sure we're actually calming down on the rsi and the macd could get a little bit more dippier because it just um closed a little bit not too long ago going into the weekly chart because we just had our weekly close we closed right um above this line right here 37500 and then now we're kind of going up but this is a bearish trend overall this could end up building um, a bear flag or it could bounce right here and go back up to the top of this line right here which would give us a nice pass above that 44k and then we'll be looking for 47 after that but right now one step at a time we gotta pass 39 200 we don't pass 39 200 then the next level that we need to hold is 35,500 so on these long-term charts like the monthly chart it's not looking too good it could and on the weekly chart it's not looking too good there's some things that's showing on this chart right here that's also showing that we're not looking too good on the weekly spx bitcoin has been uh following this chart it had a double top right here this double top is real ugly nice lower high right here then it put in a lower low it's i mean it put in it's putting in a lower low right now so if this thing's going to get bullish it has to close around 4198 but right now it's below that at 4131 so it is looking pretty ugly for the spx and bitcoin's been following this and also the dollar is going parabolic now the dollar is at levels it hasn't been at for a very long time it hasn't been at this level since sheesh um november 2002 so the dollar's having a nice bullish time right now and there's interesting things going on in the macro climate that's like you know no duh we got qe ending so that's the fed stop putting so much money into the market they're doing this in raising interest rates and getting people all bearish and they're also um ending their their um their asset buying programs and stuff like that so dollar is looking pretty interesting but i'm hoping that we get you know just rejected right here that's that's what what needs to happen i do have this purple line right here that shows that a hey, assets are going to be looking pretty ugly they're going to start calling it a recession if we head to that level um you know because assets include like commodities and, and real estate and all that good stuff is going to be having a tough time if this thing starts going super parabolic but i'm not going to lie this chart looks pretty bullish it looks bullish for sure looking at the total this is all of the altcoin market right now it's in an uptrend still it's been in an uptrend it doesn't feel like it but bitcoin's kind of holding this and also this is the total two right here which has actually been in a downtrend on the let me go to the weekly real quick 
So looking at the total two, we see it's looking real ugly like Bitcoin, way uglier than Bitcoin because we see Bitcoin dominance having a nice bounce um, right here at 39K. It also has some bullish divergence on the Bitcoin dominance. So yeah, all coins are getting eight up. So as far as altcoins go, you know, I'm kind of buying little amounts, dollar cost averaging into altcoins. My goal right now is to collect as many altcoins as I can and be hunting for those unknown coins, the coins that are coming up, that are unreleased, that are doing amazing things, trying to change the world and stuff like that so that I can invest in them. And when these things start turning around, when the dollar starts going down, when whatever, whatever needs to happen for the market to start going up, I could be ready for it. Also trading this market is pretty lucrative right now if you know how to short. So let me know if you want me to make a video like about how to short. I know some people ask me to make videos about trading. So we'll do that um, here pretty soon. So let me know if there's anything else you need help with and you want me to make a video with. Let me know what you think about this overall market. How is your portfolio holding up? Are you going to um, capitulate? Are you going to hold through it? You're going to just huddle. Um, for me, um, I don't like to hold downtrends. You know, I, I uh, that's one thing that, you know, definitely I learned about this market. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you're not subscribed to the channel, think positive and positive things will happen. RIP to Crypto Roots. Till next time. Peace.